Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the procedures for the ELISA lab that we're going to be doing today in class. Um, so uh, you want to make sure that you have like the all the materials for the ELISA lab. So you should have a um, micro wells labeled 1 through 12 right here and also another um, strip of micro wells labeled 13 through 24 right here. And then at your uh, table you're gonna have a microtube rack with like different um, reagents you have like the dilution buffer antigen patient one sample patient two sample positive control negative control wash buffer primary antigen secondary antigen substrate and also the stop uh, buffer okay so um, what you want to do first is after labeling um, your your strips uh, you want to put in the um, 50 milliliters, or sorry, I should say microliters of the dilution buffer. So it's going to be labeled DB at, on your um, microtube rack. Okay, so open up, switch your micro pipette to 50 microliters. So you want to get some from here. Okay, and you want to add 50 microliters to wells 2 through 12. Okay, you are going to skip one, so two through 12 again. So, pipette 50, okay, get some more, pipette 50, get some more, pipette 50, and then so on until two, wells two through 12 have 50 microliters of the dilution buffer, okay? Um, then what you need to do is change tips, okay? And you are going to add in 100 microliters, okay? of the antigen, okay? So this is the antigen. Um, you get 100 microliters, put it into well, well one, okay? Um, and then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to do a serial dilution. So you're gonna put in 50 microliters from, take 50 microliters from well one, put into well two, mix it, and then uh, put into well three, and so on. So uh, I'm still using the same pipette tip Okay, so measure out, get out 50 microliters, put it into well two, okay? And you wanna pump five times. So what you wanna do is you only wanna go to first stop when you're mixing. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? Um, and then uh, you wanna get 50 microliters from well two, put it into well three, okay? And then you wanna do the five, the, the five pumps. To first stop, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you get 15 microliters from well three, put it into well four, and then you want to pump it five times, one, two, three, four, five, and then you want to con continuously do that all the way until you finish um, well twelve. Okay, once you do that, um, then you're going to uh, change the tips. But first, you want to put the strips one through twelve off to the side. Okay. Um, and then you are going to get the uh, second set, set of strips, 13 through 24. Okay, so you can add a uh, new tip on. And then for this one, uh, you're going to get the positive control. And you're going to add the positive control to wells 13, 14, and 50. Or 15, 50 microliters. So get some from there, put in 50 into 13. 15 to 14, and then 50 microliters into 15, okay? Um, then you're gonna change your tip. Now you're gonna get the negative control, and you're, you are going to put the negative control uh, into well 16, 17, 18, so 50 microliters. So 15, so 16, get 50, put it in 17, Get 50 and then put it in 18. Like that. And then you're going to change the tips again. Okay. And you are going to now add your patient samples. So some of you might have patient one, patient two. Some of you guys might have patient three, patient four, or like, you know, patient one, patient eight. Um, basically, patients are going to represent. Um, Sue and her friends. So like patient one might be Sue, patient two might be Jill, like that. Okay, so you can get your first patient sample, so in this case patient one, and you are going to pipette exactly 50 microliters, 
Okay. Um, into wells 19, and then 50 into 20, and then 50 into 21. Okay. You can close it up, change the tip, um, and now you can get 50 of your second patient sample. So in this case, patient 2, 50 microliters, put into well 22, then 50 into well 23, then 50 into well 24. Like that. Okay. Then you are going to change the tips. Okay. And then you, you are now going to incubate both strips for five minutes at room temperature. So make sure you guys set your timer and then you guys can kind of just like relax, just chill, um, you know, look at my turtles or like my leopard geckos for five minutes and then uh, make sure you guys come back. Okay. Um, then once five minutes is done, what you're going to do is you're going to have a stack of paper towels like this. Okay. And you're going to invert um, both sets of strips. So you might want to have two sets of paper towel for this. So you're going to invert, um, let's say this is the this is the second set of strips. So, and tap it onto the paper towel, like gently, okay? Now you wanna do this vertically and not like side to side. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, like that, okay? You do not wanna do it like horizontally, like one, two, three, four, five, or like this, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get contamination. Like, um, for instance, like maybe patient sample one, um, the and uh, antigens might like jump over to patient sample two. So again, you want to do it like one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then with the other strip, one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then after um, you do that, uh, you are going to get um, a new tip and you are going to add the, uh, the wash buffer. So put on a new tip. Wash buffer is labeled um, WB, okay? And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to put the wash buffer uh, into uh, all the wells, okay? So, can you pause? Okay, so again, wash buffer, you're, you're going to get 100 microliters of the wash buffer and put it into every single well. So, um, you know, make sure you set this to 100. Um, you can use the same pipette tip because you're not actually going to, um, you know, actually touch the liquid in, left over in the wells. 100 into, say, well 1, 100 into well 2, well 3, well 4, all the wells, basically. Okay. Uh, once you do that, um, uh, you are going to... Pause. <laughs> Go. Okay, so you, you want to get a new set of paper towels this time. And um, you're going to do the same thing. You want to get the wash buffer out of here. Invert one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And uh, with the other strips, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then you're going to put in the wash buffer again 100 microliters um, to every single well. One, two, oh, one, 100, 100, 100, 100, to all the wells. And then, same thing, you get invert five times. One, two, three, four, five. You get all the wash buffer up. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna change the tips. Okay. And then um, you're going to add 50 microliters of uh, the secondary antibody. Well, I should say primary on antibody. So 50 microliters, okay. And then you, you are going to add 50 microliters to every single well. So the well one, well two, 50 microliters to well three, well four, so on, okay. Once you do that, you're gonna incubate for um, five minutes. Okay, so again, you can sit, relax, five minutes, set the timer. Um, once you're done, then you are going to get a new set of paper towels and you are going to invert five times to get rid of the uh, primary antibody. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay. Um, then you can get the wash buffer. Uh, 
Uh, you're gonna get 100 microliters added to every single well. And then you're going to get new paper towels, invert five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, then change the tip. Now you're gonna get the secondary an antibody and you're gonna pipette 50 microliters of the secondary antibody into every single well, all 24 wells, okay? Uh, and then you wanna let it incubate for five minutes. So again, go relax, um, you know, go say hi to uh, my beta fish, okay? And then after those five minutes are done, invert five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then right here, one, two, three, four, five. Then get the wash buffer. <laughs> um, so again, make sure you add 100 microliters of wash buffer to all the wells. Um, and then uh, you are going to invert five times. Okay. And then now um, you're going to change the tips again. Uh, this time you're going to get the substrate, so it's labeled sub and you're gonna add 50 microliters to every single well. Okay, 50 from here, put them there, all the wells. And then you're gonna let it incubate for about five minutes, okay? Um, and then this time, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, change the tips. And you're going to add the stop solution. So the stop solution should be labeled ST at your tables and you can get um, 50 microliters of stop solution and then add it to every single well. Okay. And then afterwards, uh, you see like a color change happening. And what you wanna do is you wanna line up your, your wells and use your camera to take a nice photo of each of the strips so that you can see the color changes and see um, who has meningitis. And that's it, thank you.